Hey everybody, I'm Steph. Hi Michael. Today we're checking out my little Everdell. From Starling Games. It plays one to four players, so there is a solo mode in this game. Nice. And plays in about 30 minutes. Now, you might be wondering, hey, I'd like to check this out for my kid. What is the recommended age on this game? And the box says six and up. And I think that's that's probably good. That's probably pretty good. Um, if you're looking for a lighter Everdell experience, I think you will definitely find it here. It it gives me the feeling of Everdell, and it Absolutely. plays in a much faster time. Absolutely. So. It's to me, it scratches that Everdell itch without being the full-blown Everdell I combo-tastic agree. experience. Yeah. And, uh, um, and it plays rather quickly. Yeah. Now, you're not going to get into like big combo-y things, but you will right. get into some chaining effects that will happen in the game. Right. Uh, everything is just easier to do. So if you've got the normal version of the game, you are going to have normal little resources like this on cardboard, where you'll have your twigs and your berries and your resin. If you get the super awesome version of the game with all the deluxe resources you will get look at these awesome resources they're cool and little storage crates <laughs> twigs and resin and berries and senor azul says do not eat these um they are they they are rubbery and chewy but do not eat them nope so uh not for consumption that's for sure so let's take a look at this super cute thing. So we're going to put these above the spaces. Notice the little berry space and the twig space and the resin space. We're going to place our storage crates here. They are super easy to punch out and assemble these little cardboard storage crates. Um, we're going to put the moon above this first little area here. We're going to give the sun token to the shortest person, the shortest player. And because Senor Azul is not here, we're going to give this to Steph. How rude. So, uh, put out one of these dice per player. Any of the additional dice will uh, go back to the box. Now, notice these dice are very green, so they, they don't totally show up on the green screen. But you can see the different symbols that are on uh, each of these dice faces. Um, the symbols are screened on. They are not engraved dice obviously because you've got to have the cute little pictures of everything and they're little color pictures so um so i don't slight them the least little bit for choosing that design decision because it's bright and colorful and really makes it pop if they were engraved dice obviously they would not have the colors on them and i think it it sort of it keeps everything super bright and engaging for kids um for these parade tokens, you're going to place them with the six on top and the three on bottom. On a two-player game, really, you only need the six and the five because you can claim each of these only once. But if you're playing with more players, you're going to also need the four and the three. You're just going to stack them from largest to smallest. So you'll get a slight advantage for being the first one to claim the uh, these parade tokens. So, um, the player colors are also, as I mentioned, they're super bright and vibrant. Uh, you could choose the blue butterflies, the little white mice, the green lizards, or as Jelfia was talking about on stream a little bit ago, the red foxes. They're kind of orangey. They, well, they're orange fox. They are orangish. And so you decided to go with the white mice today. Since everything else is colorful, those white uh, mice really stand out on the board. So um, there are also, um, like I said, there are uh, solo cards that come in the box that are only used, obviously, for solo play. And look, whenever you win the game, you can post your little, my, little Everdell victory card on the uh, internet um i've also got in the box that we got we got some really cool kindergarten promo cards as well which seems super cool 
um, four kids and two kindergarten cards in this kindergarten promo card uh, setup. I think that can be used with Everdell or this game. Yep. So, um, each player gets a home board. Um, there's also, uh, there are also two options for giving younger children an advantage to help balance the game against more experienced players or adults. Um, what you can do, you can add one or both of these advantages in each game. So, for a, a starting bonus, you can have children begin the game with a resin, a twig, and a berry to start out. You can, uh, all, additionally or alternatively, you can let them begin the game with a captain card and or a fort card. And those cards will count toward achievement parades that we will talk about uh, in a little bit. And uh, they will activate um, just as normal uh, as they would normally activate during the game, as if they had already had them built. So um, we'll also start the game with eight cards uh, down here at the bottom to go ahead and uh, seed the area down here. What is this called? They just say deal eight cards face up below the board. Anyway, uh, at the beginning of each round, uh, the player with the sun token will roll the resource dice and put them back on the board. One die per location. So Steph, we'll go ahead and have you roll the dice. And then, so that's got two resin. That's got, what is that? Two choices. It's the, oh, the two of your choice. Yeah. It's got the little wild symbol. Yeah. Which is basically all the resources shoved into a basket. Yeah. So, um, then we go to the gather goodies phase. Each player will activate all of the green cards that they've already played beside your home boards in any order that they choose. And at the start of the game, obviously, you're not going to have any green cards unless you're starting off with the captain or the fort. Now, when I say green cards, I mean the ones that have this little green plant symbol at the bottom here. Looks a little bit grayish brown on the green screen, but just imagine this a really nice, pretty green color. And notice... It says down here at the bottom, pay one wild token, then get two wild tokens. So pay one of any resource and get two of uh, any resources. So then we're going to take turns back and forth, starting with the player with the sun token. We're going to place one of our friends onto a location on the board to perform that action. You'll notice a lot of these spaces on the board have one paw print. That means one friend can go there. You'll also notice that there are other spaces that have tons of paw space, paw prints on there, and any number of friends can go to those locations. After placing a friend, the player can play one of these cards from below the board by paying its cost. And you'll see uh, the costs up here at the top. For example, this palace takes two twig and two resin. And you also take the top parade token for any parades that you qualify for and do not already have. And then the next player goes. And we're going to go until we've used all three of our friends and placed them on the board. Then we're going to do return home phase, where uh, we return our friends to our home boards. And then we move the sun and the moon tokens. Pass the sun token to the right. Not to the left, but to the right. So the player who went last in the previous round is going to go first in the next round. And move the moon token to the next spot along the track. I'll try to keep it sort of where you can sort of see it off the side there. I know it sort of goes off the top of the screen. And then we're going to go back uh, to step one and repeat until we've played all four rounds. And then we check our score to see who has won. So. Um, as I mentioned, anyone can play a friend on the top three spaces of the board, even if another player or one of your own friends is already placed there. And it's going to let you take one of those resources in the crates. Only one friend is allowed on the special uh, resource dice spaces. You're going to take those resources or points that shown on the die when you place a friend there. Um, 
You can also place friends on red cards. Now, I don't see any red cards down here, but when they come up, we will show uh, those off. There is one here in the rule book we can show. Notice that they have little, uh, little individual spots where you can place friends. So whenever you place your friend on one of those red spots, you're going to get the corresponding benefit. And that space is only available to your your meeples. That is correct. You may place a friend on a red card that you own, and you cannot place a friend on another player's red card. And as I mentioned, each uh, after you place one of your, your friends, you can purchase any one of these face-up cards below the board. Um, the top left corner shows whether it is a critter, which has a little critter icon, or a place, which is there. Uh, there are two parades that correspond to these, and that is the first to get five places as that one, or the first to get five critters will get this parade. And they all have the same point value, six for the first, then five, then four, then three. You'll also notice that there is an end game point value up here in the top corner. Each of the cards have a certain color. Uh, we've shown the we've showed the green cards. Uh, there are uh, the green cards will activate once as soon as you play them, and then they'll activate activate again at the beginning of each new round. You've also got blue cards that will activate after playing a certain card type or after earning a parade, or they let you play a certain card for cheaper, and those always have the little scroll icons on them, like this one. Each uh, place will earn you, uh, will cost you one less resource He's of so your choice. Cute. He's so cute. Um, we've also got tan cards like this air balloon. And tan cards will activate one time as soon as you play them. And uh, they don't ever activate again. Like this art balloon, the air balloon will, you get to move one of your friends and activate the new location. Um, we've also got purple cards that will only activate after the game has ended. Uh, they'll give you point tokens for other cards or parades that you may have at the end of the game. So this will give you one point for each of your purple cards that you have. And finally, there are those red cards that have the spots on them that will activate only when you place a friend on them. And as I mentioned before, you can only activate your own red cards. So uh, we've already talked about two of the parades. Uh, one of the parades can be claimed when you have one of each card type, a red, a blue, a green, a tan, and uh, a purple. And finally, there is one for having three cards of the same color, three of any red or purple or tan or blue but not green. Three greens will not give you this resource, this uh, parade. Um, after four uh, rounds, then uh, after each player's taken their final turn in round four, the game is over. You're going to trade in leftover resources uh, to the supply crates and take point tokens for them. Every two resources gives you one point token. I like how they did this in the rules so that even for um, people who are not very familiar with games, they can tell exactly what it is that they mean without using terms such as rounding down. It actually has, if you've got five tokens, two will give you a point, two more will give you a point, a leftover does not give you a point. And I think that is super cool for them to do. It's explained super clearly in the rules. Everything seems to be super straightforward. And I like how they did that. Then you're going to, uh, for your purple card, you're going to take uh, points. We've got a whole mess of points down here. Um, you're going to take points for your purple cards at the end of the game. Uh, count all of the points shown on your cards and your parades and the point tokens that you've collected and whoever has the most points wins. Um, there's also uh, solo rules where you're competing against either Prince Pumpernickel or Princess Periwinkle. 
and uh, there the rules for that are not long, maybe th uh, three pages of rules uh, in this 16 page rule book. It's uh, super clear and uh, easy to understand for uh, parents who are uh, taking their young ones on this fine adventure. And uh, I really don't even see this as a, you know, a lot of people say, well, uh, you know, I've got Everdale. I don't need to dumb down Everdale. I think it's super cute on its own, personally. So it, and like I say, it does uh, get, um, it does scratch that Everdale itch um, where you're collecting resources and spending them on cards and trying to get those cool little combos. All right, Shorty. I guess that's and I'll say that because the short the short person gets the sun token. <laughs> yes. Plus, mice do not tend to be very tall. I'm going to take the space. Of course you are, because why would you not? I'm going to take a berry and a orange shard thing. Orange? Uh, you mean a, a a a resin? Yeah, but I'm going to buy the farm, and then I immediately get one. Yep, because it will activate immediately and at the start of every turn. Immediately. Immediately. I believe that this refreshes yep. at the end of your turn, I believe. Let me look and double check and make sure. Um, Placing friends. Placing friends. Playing cards. After paying the cost, place the card face up beside your home and replace with a new one from the deck. Ta-da. So would you. Oh, it, that's a red location. It is a red location. That's nice. You know what? It's so nice. You're I'm going to immediately buy it. I'm going to go get the two <laughs> resin and immediately buy it. It is really good. And it, if you place a friend here, it's copy a die. I mean, that seems really good. Oh, it's a snack. Snack. It says dragon's den. I'm going to get a wood. A, that's a, called a twig. Twig. And I'm immediately going to spend my two berries on that blue card down there. This one here? Fort Builder. Yeah, Fort Builder. Each, uh, each place costs you one less resource. That's super good. Wow, I'm jealous now. I like that one. It is it's really good. I'm not, I only got little points. You got a one with two points. Where's the tree? There is no tree. There is no tree the in my is little a legit down. size. Okay, so let me show the box size. So here is the box. It looks super big, right? No. Super flat. This box stores <laughs> so... It's nice. I like and it. And compact. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> so, with this in mind... I mean, I really want to start getting some other things that will give uh, give some, give me some other options here. Clearly, I've got a copy, a die, which will give me any two resources. But what do I want here? You looking around? You know. Yep. Yep. You know, I probably ought to, uh, I probably ought to take the train. Choo-choo. Choo-choo. Choo-choo-choo-choo. Probably ought to take the train. Bree says, uh, yeah, there should at least be a little tree. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? I'm going to try to rush victory points. So I'm going to do. I'm not happy. I'm going to do that. Well, I mean, if I didn't take it, you were going to take it. And I get a point right off the bat. Postal pigeon. I'm going to get a berry. And then I'm going to go and buy... This. This. For a stick. Yep, pay one, get two. I'll pay that and get... Whoa. What did you pay? Berry. Oh. I'm gonna get a stick. So how did and you? Berry. How did you afford the resin? I get a discount. Oh. The house has cost me one fewer. That's right. 
You already forgot. I did forget. <laughs> I did forget completely. Not everybody can vote for me. Somebody has to vote for Michael. No, you, they don't have to vote for me. They'll, but they'll I, just I get their money I back, I guess. Get... All right. Well, I mean, the, the fact that something is out there means I should probably take it. What? Uh, yeah. So I'm going to just stack these like so. You kind of need the houses, though. but. Well, that is a house. All right, as long as you know it's a house under there. Uh, yeah, I have three houses. Okay. All right, and I took a stick. After paying a stick, I took a stick. That's what it is. I got a rope bridge. Yep. All right, that's all of our friends. Yes. We did it. So, we take back our friends. Take back your friends. Take back your friends. I'm going to boop, boop, boop. You're going to boop, boop? I get a berry. Whoa. But then I'm going to spend... No, pass the moon and the sun tokens. So, sun I did tokens the moon. And the sun. I will take it. And then, see, you were like going a little too far. Now you roll the dice. Then we gather the goodies. I roll the dice. Looks like two resin again. It looks like two sticks this time. And then we gather goodies. I'm going to get one and one. Two berries. All right. It it me. I mean, I like two berries, but there's not two berries. I know. That's why I took them. That's why. Yeah, I can see why. So put these on the spaces there. I'm gonna take two sticks and buy this location, and I'm gonna move one of my friends and activate the new location. Oh, look! I'm gonna, shocking! Uh, in a shocking turn of events, I am going to so so activate the new location, but I can't do this because I've already purchased right. this turn. Right. So I will then uh, take my two and call it a day. Call it. It's a day. And then it's a swimming hole. Um, Each critter costs you one less berry. It is so like cute. something I want. Hey, guess what? What? There. Whoa. I guess. I'm going to take one stick and buy One it. stick, two stick, red stick, a blue stick. I'll put it down there. Whoa. Thank you, Shano. Shano with the puppy bits. Aw, they're so cute. They're so cute. Yeah. Copy one of your spots. Well, I mean, that looks really good. Now every card cost me one less. <laughs> one less something. Oh, this cost me one less berry, I suppose. Oh. What? to do. Well, I'm definitely, definitely going to get Something. a building because that gives me the fifth building. And I don't know how I beat you on the five buildings, but I did. Because I got a critter. Because you And you're going it. before me. Well, that sort of happens sometimes. Yep. Yep. So I will copy a die because I probably should. And what do I want? I'll take a couple of resin. And then I might as well do it. Bite the bullet. Bite the bullet. Get the palace. Yeah, I had to. Yeah. One for each of those. And that gives me this right here. This. What's the next card? I think the next card is the feast. Wow. Can't let you have that. Oh, yes, you can. No, I can't. Yes, you can. I keep taking berries. I'm going to buy the feast card. And two more berries. And I'll take more berries. Berries for days. I'll just take a party instead. Wow. 
fancy. I mean, it really is. How about a party? How about a party? It's a party up in here. Oh, I can't take the party. It's not my party. Can cry? If I want to. No, you can't. It's not your party. <laughs> Only if it's your party it's can you cry. It's not my party. I can't cry if I want to. All right, that stick and that turns into mock it. I'm mm -hmm. taking this mock it. Mock it, please. And that is one of any resource. I think, I think, I think I'm going to take a berry. Because look at all the things that need berries here. Are you right. kidding Everything me right now? Needs berries. And then there's an more, old one. More berries. More berries. I'm not even sure I can get five critters if I tried, considering how many berries. berries. Uh, yeah, because... I'm going to spin that berry that I just got for this dude. He's for what I make it. He's cute. He's really cute. And that is it, I do believe. All right. Take back your friends. All right. Round three. You get the sun. Here comes the sun. Whoa. One about with all of it. Wild. Two wilds and one with everything. Guess what? You want a pizza with everything. Yeah, what am I going to uh, No, 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 no. You're way ahead of the action. Oh, I was really excited. Back, back up. All right. I'm going to get one of these. And I'm going to get one of these. And I'm going to get one of something. Berries? How about a berry? I mean, dang. It's I just mean, like everything needs berries. Everything needs berries, and I'm going to berry up. Thanks for the lurk. Can't even get the berries. Yeah, I can't help you with that. Now you can jump on that spot. And I'm gonna take what? I mean, of course you are. For sure. I'm gonna... All right, so I'm gonna just take one of these and one of these. And spend a berry for this dude. He's okay. cute. No. Huh? This dude. Get the coin. Take a coin. Yeah, so I need a coins. point. Because you're like rolling. I'm trying to trying to get them, yes. On purpose. Mm -hmm. Alright. From here, I'm gonna land on this little thing. Clearly, I must get berries for days. I must bury up. And then. I will spend two berries to get the old one for two sticks. What? Can't get it out. Two sticks. And then this is the doctor. doctor, doctor. I'm going to go here for two sticks. Two sticks and then? I don't know. I haven't thought that far. So I was hoping for a better card than that. Nope. I'm going to spend two berries for this. Two berries for one of each. Do you get it? I still need this, but yes. Did you get it all? Yeah, I got mm. so many resources. You got a couple of resources there. So many. You do have a couple of resources there. Uh, I'm going to copy the everything guy. Really? I could copy the, the berry die. 
I don't know. I think I'll copy. I think I'll copy the berry, double berry dye. Double berry. Double berry dye. Then what are you buying? Probably a gray so I can get three gray. But which gray do I want? It's a good question. I think... I think my best bet, if I'm choosing between these two, <clears throat> is to spend a berry, get a berry. Well, but that gives me, not this one. It gives me this one here. Flip a doozy. Flip a doozy, right here. Uh -huh. It's a painter. That obviously, I just keep taking berries, but I'm gonna spend two berries for that. Pink no, Steph, I got five difference. No, Steph, what you no. got all the other ones? I want that one. That's nah, really good. It's really good. <laughs> I can't get my fifth one. I have tried. I know, I get it. Get blue for the three sets, but you got the three sets before me. There hasn't been another blue. Yeah, I see that. I am going to have to take a berry and spend two berries to copy one of my cards. Point. I better run for the points while I can. That's three critters out of five. And we flip. Still not a blue. And we're talking the last round here, so I hope one comes up. I'm like, I still have... Oh, I also had the five critter. Yeah, you should probably take that. Yeah. Unless I can't take two in the same go. Huh? What? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, as soon as you meet the listed requirements on any of the parades. Okay. How about these? <clears throat> okay. All right. Uh, collect your stuff. Uh, clearly going to copy the points. One. Pick one of these. Two. What's my other one? One point. Take one of these. Hello, soften your razor. Hi, razor. Is this member berries that stuff berries day? Uh, clearly going to hop on this. Take two of these. Call me in the morning. And what am I going to take? <clears throat> uh, I mean, there's there's really no choice here. I need a house, and I need one, two, three, three of something. Okay, bite the bullet and buy that That's one. That's my fourth critter. I will get my fifth critter, but man, I will not get a blue. I just I want points. I know. I'm gonna spend those two things for this pirate ship. Hmm. There's a blue. I got this. <clears throat> it's a blue, but it's not a critter. It's jail. After you play a critter, get a resource. That seems good. <laughs> well, jail gives me a lot of resources, so I probably ought to go to jail. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, looks like the double berry is still the best play for me. Maybe the extra berries in the cardboard form are for extras. One of each of these. 
will give me jail. And my fifth, my fifth of this and, yeah, that's correct. And flip this over. And I will get my fifth critter, so I will be happy. Oh, look at that. King. Ah, king is my king. <clears throat> I'm going to go here for two berries and then spend a bunch of berries. Extra berry. What? One extra berry? Plus Ridiculous. The Six points. Good. <clears throat> well, shoot. And it doesn't matter what I get, so it's going to be a berry. Uh, looks like... Well, I think they're all about equal for me. This is the same points as this. If you get a critter. Yes, I will get a critter, because yeah. six of the eight are critters. They're the same points, but Steph could take this and activate her point. She can't take this and get something additional for it, so yeah. I think this is my clear choice. Well, uh, I'll tell you why the other one's good. Why is the other one good? Because I need three reds to get that last parade. You need three reds to get what last parade? I didn't get this. Oh, you oh, this. did it? You didn't get it. What do you have? Three. You need three blue or three gray. There's a gray available. Right. So I'm either taking a red or a gray at this point. Well, then it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. So spend. What did I get? Did I? I did get my berry. I spent my two berries. Um. Take the sweep. Copy one of my things, which currently I'm at an odd number of resources, which is sad. I don't think there's any way to, I guess I could take. No, I'll just do that. You. I see I couldn't have stopped it anyway. I mean, and I get my critter thing. I'll get a berry and immediately buy. Oh, after I play a critter, I get a resource. Don't forget. Now I've got an even number of resources. Yes, you did. All right, so it doesn't matter replenishing because all of these are done. All right, you have one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven points of That's extra point. tokens. Yes, that is a lot. I have four points for five berries and three sticks is four points. So give up a one, take a five. Um... And I think that's it, except for counting all the points. Um, I get one point for each of the purples, so that's two points for that. I get one point for each of my red cards, which is only one point. So Steph isn't taking any bonuses. She's just counting them. So I will let her silently count while I count all of mine. In addition to these, looks like we must have tied on these. So 12, 22, 24, 27, 30, 32, 35, 36, 37, 39, 40, 41, 43, 45, 50, 55, 56. 57. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 6. There's no way. Oops. I don't know. I'm going to add it up. There's no way I beat you on this. 
That's why I said 56. There's no way. It's not a recount. There's it's no way I beat you. There's no way I could beat you. But let's find out. Mm -hmm. 12, 22. 30, uh, don't, how many, I don't, I don't know how many points you had before you did all these. I took all the points for the cards. 12, 22, 32, 42, 52, 53, 58. That's 58. 58. That's probably, I'd expect you to beat me by more than one. Six, eight. So what, you were at nine? or What were you at before you coined mm -hmm. yourself? We got, I got seven for resources and three extra. So like ten. Three extra? You didn't have it early. Thought I got thought it you got it second. Center. I don't, I thought you had nine, but maybe you had ten. I anyway, heard six, seven, eight, nine. 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22. This, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Any others? No. 27, 37, 49, and 9 is 58. There you go. I expect you to have many more points than me. 2, 5, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 30, 35, 45, 57. You had end goals that were good, though, so. Uh, they were okay. But I, after you got that king, I was like, I'm dead. But no, I almost caught you. You almost had me. I almost had you. Yeah. You had a lot of uh, bonuses that paid off for you in the form of discount, discount, discount. I mean, those that two together. Point, those won it for you. So good. I mean, it's not like I won by a lot, like you said, but it was, I, it was enough. I thought it was. I thought it was by five to ten. I thought you had me. But hey, close competitive yeah. race. Um, I think I'll be recommending this one to families for a while. Absolutely. I like you know I think it's really birthday nice. Birthday gifts, game. Christmas yeah. gifts. It's a really nice game. For sure. Uh super easy yeah. to teach. And accessible. Um, and it's, just, it's nice. It's a nice game. Yeah, for sure. I um, like it more than Everdale, honestly. <laughs> yeah. So I mean Everdale can get much, especially, you know, you set up the tree and and you play with base Everdale and then you add this expansion and this expansion and this expansion, and then it's like <laughs> Super huge. It's a huge, like, giant collector's box that's, like, bigger than me. And exactly. Like, oh. um, it's a lot. And it's and like, it can and it can be intimid intimidating and overwhelming for newer gamers. Yeah, for sure. Um, but, I, I mean, I can honestly say, you know, I did not feel like I was playing a kid's game. No, me at, either. In the traditional sense of the word. Um, this seemed like like any other normal light game where, you know, interesting decisions are being made and I'm choosing, do I get this critter? Do I get this, this place? Uh, yeah. Cause once I spend these resources better to you, but getting another card to get your sets going better is a good idea as well. So there's parades. Yeah, for yeah, sure. So you have to think about these things. So it's nice. I like I agree. it. So I'm definitely glad I got to check it out and we got to play it. Yeah, for sure. So be sure to check out. My Little Everdale from Starling Games. Yes.